pond today. It's deer season. I'm taking a little break from deer hunting. The ice isn't very safe, so I'm stuck to open water fishing, and this is the most convenient spot. And so I had this rod that I ordered from Placino that they sent me to review a while ago, and I was just fishing with it, and it broke right here. So I sent them an email to see how they were customer service wise and they said if you send me the picture of the rod and it broke that they'll send me another rod but I actually instead of wanting the rod that this size which is a five foot nine telescoping rod I asked for a seven foot six I think telescoping rod and it came and it's right here and it says on here it's a brand placino and it says the batch and date of manufacture, and it says made in China, and it says their website. It says it's made of carbon fiber, and here's the rod. And we're going to put this other reel on it and test her out. So, let's get to this. It's really getting blown around here. But, let's part of filming on the water. It's not ideal condition for fishing, but... We'll see what we can do here. So I'm going to take this reel off. There's the reel. I'm going to put it on this rod. This one I think I'm just going to use as a travel rod though and not actually use it fishing as much as I use this other one. But well, we gotta show it and catch to see how it works. So then we better put the line through these holes right here. We have 12 pound Berkeley big game on this reel. And we got it lined through it. Why is it already wrapped up? Then we should tie a hook onto it. We can tie in this plastic hook. I don't know what plastic we're going to fish with, but that's what we're going to try. And then we got it up, and we're going to figure out what plastic we want to try. So let's see, are these yum dingers? That's what we're going to try. We're going to try these yum dingers on it. They're Ozark smoke colored, and they're four inches. We'll see if they want Ozark smoke today. I think we're just going to straight rig it and fish it really slow. Water's probably like 35 degrees. I might even need to put a weight on it to get it down deep enough. And then we're going to take this, I don't know, this rod, but this, this might be a little heavy for this rod, and we're going to cast it. Cast about 40 feet, not too bad. And we're letting it sink down to bottom, because this pond is really deep. I'm going to actually want to put on my anchor at this spot, too. The shiner catches a bass. Yummy, nice bass, nice fat guy. Look at this nice bass. I knew the shiner would work. 
That guy's fat. He must have just swallowed it. We'll let it go. I knew that bait was going to work. Guys keep robbing me. Oh shit, I just had a bite on this jig. So, here's what I'm going to say about this rod. It casts a lot better than the shorter rod, and it says on it, it says 4 to 1 ounce. That must mean a, quart, a quarter to 1 ounce, because it's 7 to 28 grams, and 28 grams is an ounce. So they forgot a slash mark to make it a fraction. That's a mistake, but that happens and it's 2.4 meters long, which is a lot longer than the other one that was like 1.5 meter, and it definitely casts farther with this line. It works pretty nice. It kind of slides around. It was kind of hard to shut. When we went to, took it apart at our house the other day, but it'll work okay. Maybe I shouldn't fish with this one. It's cold and jerk on a snake really hard with it, but... It could last me for my travels and it casts farther, so I'll give this a B for this a B for a grade. So we'll keep on using it and hopefully get a fish on it finally.